everybody, welcome to nickmcd.tv. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up XDMX. And basically what that is, is an X window system that allows you to pretty much span it across multiple different computers. Um, have like one computer as like the main uh, X window system and have it also being displayed on all these other computers. And what they use this for is make these giant tile displays of these giant monitors. Because in reality, how many uh, video cards can you actually put in your PC? Maybe th like two, three? And if each one has two outputs, that's three times two, which is six. You can have six monitors total. What if you wanted like 16 monitors to make this giant display? How would you do that? Now you can do that with XDMX. I'm going to show you guys how to do that, how to set that up, and how to run it securely. One of the issues I ran into, though, was, be was that my laptop has a different hardware than my main machine. It's a completely different video card. My laptop's running an ATI card, and my, video and my main machine is running an NVIDIA. And then I ran into some issues with that, and because of that, I'm not actually going to ever run this permanently. But if you have two computers that have similar hardware, both have like an NVIDIA card, I think this would run very well on it. If you have two machines that are identical, I think that you're golden. You're going to you know, have a very easy time to get this, to get this working. For me, it was a little difficult because I had to do a lot of reading and you know, figure out how stuff works and what does what and blah, 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 blah. But I got it working. Um, it's actually very simple now that it is working. Let's uh, show you guys how to do it right now. now. This video might be kind of ghetto style because I don't actually have screen capture set up on my laptop. And I don't think it would work very well on it because the laptop is kind of an old piece of crap. So I'm going to kind of do it ghetto style by holding the camera up and showing you guys the commands I'm doing on there. Sorry! Now, there's two ways to get XDMX running as far as I know. And that's opening up port 6000 on your machine and allow TCP listening, uh, allow your, you know, your X server to do TCP listening. And I try to do that, uh, I think there might be a bug in Ubuntu because I, I commented out all the no listen TCP crap and I still couldn't get port 6000 open, I don't know why. I did read that it was actually really difficult to do and I think there's a bug in Ubuntu that keeps you from opening it, which is a good thing because opening port 6000 is actually a big security issue because it allows people to now, you know, people can listen to every keystroke you type in an X11 environment. Uh, and I know, uh, you know, if you're on a home network, it's probably okay. But if you're running wireless, you want to be careful because wireless is very easy to crack. Even if you're not running web, someone can crack your wireless and then be listening to all your keystrokes. It's probably not the safest thing to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to set this up with SSH uh, through an SSH tunnel and allow you guys to, to run this whole thing through SSH, which might make it a little bit slower but it's a million times safer and more secure and this is the way you should run it unless you're on some kind of a uh, network that has no wireless and you're not uh, you don't really don't have access to the outside now the first thing you're going to need to do is install XDMX now you can't use the one that comes with the Ubuntu repositories because it's broken it gives seg faults among other things and I don't know why they didn't check this stuff but it doesn't work and I've read online that it doesn't work for a lot of other people. So I don't think it's just my hardware. I think it's, you know, it actually broken. So you're going to have to find a good version online. And don't worry, I found that for you. I'll put a link in the sidebar. I'll also put a link down below on my website. And download it and install it. Now it's a .dev file. So you want to type in dpackage-i and then uh, the name of it. You want to sell this on both the, like, the server machine and the host machine, which is like your old laptop or whatever else you want to run. So do that on both machines and you're set. So you're going to want to get on your laptop and SSH from your, your laptop or whatever machine to your main machine. And you want to do SSH with a dash capital X dash lowercase, lowercase c. Um, the lowercase c is going to allow you to change the, the cipher and you want to change the blowfish dash cbc and that's going to speed up everything significantly and then the IP name and then from the terminal where you are SSH into here type in export pipe that into grep and then capital DISP and it's going to tell you something like this you can see declare dash x display equals local host colon 10.0 now you want to run then the really long command okay now it's going to do start x then let's do dash dash slash user bin xdmx and that's going to actually start the xdmx uh, x server 
The colon one means it's going to be the that's where it's running because we're actually running a next server on uh, colon zero, so we're gonna run one on colon one. Uh, this part right here, what that pretty much means is allows you to share the monitors between the two computers. The display now this for colon where it says colon uh, zero dot zero. Zero dot zero is my main display. It's this one right here. This is 0.0, .0 this computer. The other one, let me stretch, stretch this out a little bit so you can read it better. The other one says display localhost colon 10.0. Now remember that from right here. Display equals localhost colon 10.0. So you put that in for the other display. And I'm also putting no render and no GLX proxy. Now pretty much what this means is GLX allows you to do all the fancy OpenGL rendering and stuff and I can't do that because it has a bug in it and you can't do it be between two different card types and I have like I said an ATI card here and I have an NVIDIA card over here so it doesn't work and the no render gets rid of all these weird um, render tears and blah 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 and this is probably one of the reasons why it's you know I can't get graphic effects and all that stuff working. So anyway, so you run that command and we will see this thing working. You can see now I have like these weird uh, things. Now right here you see the X server popped up and the X server is over here too. You can see my background is now stretched between them. If I open up a terminal you can now see as I drag the terminal across both of them it works and there's not a whole lot of lag anymore but I do also think, I don't think I'm using proprietary drivers either, which is a bummer because I notice like when I, like, like if I have to have like play a movie or something, it's kind of like chuggy. There you go, that's the word they use on set. It's chuggy. It's chuggy, chuggy, chuggy. And I don't like it. And, but if you're going to just do like work, like surf the net, text, blah, 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 this is great. And I'm sure there are ways to speed it up. But I don't really want to devote that much time to this after I devoted so much and I didn't really like the final product as much as I did. A little much as I thought I would. Now I think you guys are going to have an easier time getting this thing running uh, with, with graphic effects and all that other stuff is if you have two computers with the same type of graphics card, for example two NVIDIA cards in both computers. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll catch you guys next time. Now my permanent setup between this uh, laptop and my main machine is going to be with Synergy. I'm going to, that's going to be able to broadcast the keyboard and mouse across to the laptop and it works flawlessly. I've actually been using that for a while at work. And I'm going to just use Remote X to run all my applications to kind of make it like dual monitory. Even though I can't actually drag applications across both monitors, I can still drag the mouse and the keyboard and use it kind of as a dual monitor setup. Which still works and it's pretty cool and it's a lot easier and it runs a lot faster.